Got another question on the AS Entropy Changes topic. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so for part A, in terms of bond breaking and bond forming, uh, why can a reaction be exothermic? So that's because more energy is released. Remember, bond formation is an exothermic process. So more energy is released by bond formation than is required for bond breaking. Remember, bond breaking is an endothermic process. Okay, so for the next part, we've got to work out the average bond enthalpy for the CC double bond, which is within that ethene molecule there. So I call this an in minus out method. So we work out the energy that has to go in to break all the bonds in the reactants. We work out the energy released, the energy out, when we make the bonds in the products. And then the delta H, which we've been given, is equal to the in minus the out. So for the reactants, we've got to break one mole of CC double bonds, so that's our unknown. Four moles of CH bonds, so that'll equate to that many kilojoules per mole. Three moles of OO double bonds, so that's that. So the total in is 3146 plus the unknown X. Energy out, we've got four moles of CO double bonds being formed. So there's two moles in every CO2 molecule, so that's 3220. Again, four moles of um, OH bonds because we're making two moles of H2O and there's two moles of bonds in each H2O, 1856. So that's a total of 5076. So delta H equals the in minus the out. Rearrange for X and we get plus 612 kilojoules per mole for the CC double bond. Part B is an ideal gas equation, so we're going to have to use PV equals NRT to calculate the number of moles of alkene D we've got, and then we've got the mass, so if we go mass over moles, we can work out the MR, and hence the molecular formula. So we rearrange for N, and put the numbers in, so we've got a pressure of 101,000 pascals, got to work in pascals for the ideal gas equation, and the volume been given in centimetres cubed, it's got to be in metres cubed for the ideal gas equation. So I'll just put a 10 to the minus 6 after the centimetres cubed value, and that converts it to metres cubed. Divided by the gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin, which is already given in Kelvin. So the calculated value comes out at that. So the MR, mass over moles, so it comes out at 70, which makes the molecular formula C5H10.